Hey guys, welcome back to Amy Reads. Today I am going to be doing my very first try a chapter tag. Yes! Now, this is specifically going to be a library try a chapter tag. Um, I have several books out from the library and I need to get them read. I have at least two weeks, if not longer, left on all of these. So I've never done, like I said, I've never done a try a tag before or try chapter. Um, so what we're going to do is um, I'm going to read the first chapter of all five of these books and then decide which one I want to read next. That's the whole point. That's all it is. Okay, so the five books that I have out from the library right now are Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde. This one is actually on my May TBR, so like I should read this one. But I'm so tempted to just like read all of them that I don't know. So anyway, this is one of them. This is Royals by Rachel Hawkins. This has an unfortunate cover, but it has been re-styled and I will put that in here. Next is To Be Honest by Maggie Ann Martin. This is one that's been on my radar for a while that I've wanted to read for a while. And this stars, as you can see, a plus size main character and this is about her mother who is like a yo-yo dieter um, and always kind of forcing her, um, oh, her mom was on an extreme weight loss show and she um, is pressuring the main character to lose weight and it's kind of about her relationship with her mom. Sorry about the glare. Um, and yeah, I think that it's going to be good. I've heard kind of mixed things about this, um, but I am very excited because it's a YA contemporary with a plus size main character. Next is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. All I know is that this is a YA mystery and it has kind of mixed reviews. I've heard people say they really love it and I've heard people be like, I had to DNF it. So that intrigues me. Like, I want to know. And I did read The, thir the Little Blue Envelopes um, by Maureen Johnson and I really enjoyed the writing of it. So I'm interested in this and I know it has a sequel. So who knows? And the last one is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by... And the last one is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. Uh, this is not something I think I would normally pick up. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Um, and I think that it is... See, okay, I thought it was a contemporary that was like... I don't know. Like, I thought it was fantasy within a contemporary world, if that makes sense. Um like maybe speculative magical realism stuff but it sounds like it is actually just straight fantasy so I don't have high hopes for this now knowing that's what it is but everyone talks about how much they love this book but those people probably really love fantasy so we will see sorry for the costume change I was like roasting alive in the sweatshirt I had on okay so I'm gonna take these five books um, into my bedroom <laughs> and I'm gonna read the first chapter of each one of them and if the lighting is good enough I'll update you as I read. Okay so this is gonna be our setup. Um, sorry I'm petting. There's two kitties in here. Um, okay I think I'm actually going to start with A Curse So Dark and Lonely because it's the one that I think I maybe won't enjoy as much so like maybe if I start with it I'll be pleasantly surprised as opposed to like leaving it until the end I don't know if that logic works there's Hazel she came to say hello but um, I'm gonna start with this one you'll have to excuse the sounds of my husband mowing down innocent people in whatever video game he is playing in the next room um, but I finished actually the first sorry I'm holding this um, not a great angle. Finished the first actually two chapters of this because the first chapter was three pages so um, I finished the second one as well and I'm glad that I did because it is two points of view and I got one from Ren and one from Harper who is the girl. Um, so this is sort of contemporary. So Harper is in a contemporary setting and gets pulled into this fantasy world. So I wasn't 100% wrong, but I'm pretty sure most of this book will take place in the fantasy world. I didn't hate what I read of it. I don't know if that'll be the one that I pick. Um, but I also read the first chapter of Royals um, by Rachel Hawkins. And so this is about a girl whose sister is engaged to the prince of England, I guess. 
Um, I think it's England. I don't think it's, oh no, Prince of Scotland. Um, and so kind of by proxy, she's sort of like famous too, kind of. And I guess she ends up having to go, um, to Ellie in Scotland and meets a guy there. Um, I'm trying to see. Oh yes, the prince's younger brother. So you have the heir and the spare. I do like royal themed books. The Royal We is one of my favorite books. And I didn't hate this. It was quirky and funny and that it might be one that I read. It's very short. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to update you on those two. I've got three left and I think next I'm going to pick up Truly Devious. I'm just kind of picking them up in order of how I toss them on my bed. So I'm uh, gonna, gonna read uh, Truly Devious next and uh, I'll let you know probably when I'm done with all the rest what I think. Hazel, which book do you think mommy should read? Huh? You're laying on my next one. You think I should read that one? Hazel, you're so pretty. Love you. Okay, so I have completed at least the first chapter of all five of these books. Hazel is over here chilling. Um, okay, so I told you a little bit about A Curse So Dark and Lonely. I told you I read the first two chapters and that it is basically set in a fantasy world. Um, but with a girl pulled in somehow from contemporary Washington, D.C., so, I liked it. Um, I don't know if I'm in the mood to read it right now, but I still think it's going to be like on my TBR. She's probably going to start scratching at the door here in a minute. Um, and Royals, you know, is about Daisy, whose sister is um, engaged to the Prince of Scotland, and she's going to go to Scotland and meet the brother of the prince. Um, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. It's very short. How many pages is this? Maybe it's not as short as I think. Yeah, it's 200... 293 pages. Um, so, yeah. Um, I did the first chapter of Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde. Basically, all I've gotten to is this is three friends, Taylor, Charlie, and Jamie, who is a boy. Um... And the three of them have arrived at Supacon, which is basically Comic-Con. It's even set in San Diego. Um, but these three teens are from Melbourne. They basically show up because Charlie is um, like a big YouTube star. She has like three million subscribers or whatever. So I think that we're following, I think, just Charlie and Taylor point of views. Yeah, it doesn't look like we're getting a Jamie point of view. Um, it says three friends, two love stories, one convention. So maybe Jamie will be the love interest for one of these girls. I don't really know. Um, but I like it. Um, I think that it's, this is also super short. This is even shorter. This is 262 pages. I think this would be a really easy read. I don't know if I'm going to read it right now. It is Tuesday today, and I am planning on um, filming a reading vlog this weekend that'll be up next week. So this is going up, I think, on Friday. So like today, the day you're watching this, I'm wanting to start a weekend reading vlog. So maybe I will wait and co um, continue on with this one this weekend because it is so short. I could probably get it done this weekend. Um, truly Devious. Why am I holding it like this? <laughs> truly Devious. So I actually didn't read the first chapter per se because it starts with uh, quite a prologue of sorts, really. Um, it starts back in 1936. I didn't know anything about this book. I said at the beginning that I just knew it was a Y mystery. I'd been seeing a lot lately about it and I had read one other book by Maureen Johnson. So that was all that I had. So, okay, this is set at Ellingham Academy, and it has a very cool map of the school. And basically, it starts in 1936, um, and this, this entrepreneur rich guy named Albert Ellingham basically makes this school, creates this school. 
and um, he has a house there that he and his wife live in. And in 1930, well, I guess, yeah, the year before is when he built it. Um, and in 1936, a student dies there. Apparently several students died there. Um, and there were like ransom notes left. And there's one here in the front of the book, signed Truly Devious. So the first chapter, that, that was like 16 pages, and then the first chapter starts. So I didn't actually read the first chapter, I read the first like 16 pages. Um, so I'm guessing now we are in present day at the start of the book, but I did not get that far. Honestly, I think this might be the one that I start. It just, I like, it's long-ish. I'm sure it's over 300, pa oh, over 400 pages. Yeah, it's 416 pages. I don't know. Like, I just was immediately like, ooh, like, old academy, like, private school and, like, old murders that happened in the 30s. And now, I don't know. And I still don't want to read this. I don't even want to read that because I feel like with mysteries or thrillers, um, if I read the flap or read the back of it, then I just get spoiled. Um, and so I tend not to want to know too much. Like if someone had just said like, you know, private academy, murders happen, two different time, I'd be like sold. So I don't know. I'm thinking that might be the one. I feel like I'm losing like natural light. Um, maybe if I move us that's a little bit better, but I'll have to hold it. Okay, um, and the last one, to be honest, um, basically the first chapter is just our main character, Savannah, dropping her older sister off, Ashley, at college. And, you know, her sister says, you know, I know things aren't great with your mom right now. I'll try to cut her some slack. Um, but really, so we're just, we've just basically um, seen her and her sister's relationship a little bit and know that they are really close. We know that her sister is attracted to girls. It doesn't say whether she is as bi or or uh, queer or, I mean, gay or um, pan or anything, but she clearly has, like, a little thing for the girl across the hall at her dorm. Um, so, yeah, that's really all we know so far. So, not even too far into that story. So, of these five, honestly, I liked all of the first chapters. So, I don't feel like one of them is, like, a heavy no. Um, but like I said, Truly Devious is the one that is sticking out to me that I kind of think that I want to read the most right now. Um, and then I think I'm going to hang on to Queens of Geek um, and maybe Royals and kind of hold those aside for maybe my weekend reading vlog. I'm cutting off my head, sorry. Um, yeah, and then we will see about the other ones. But I don't know. So I'm not reading a physical book right now. And if you watched my my vlog I did a few weeks ago where I read reread my lowest rated five star books, um, I, I said that I like to be reading an ebook, an audio, and a physical book, and not more of one of each of those. So I'm not reading a physical book right now. So if I can read all of Truly Devious this week, then I can maybe maybe finish it up on Friday if I have to, and and maybe start some of these because I really don't have many weekend plans. So, okay, I think that I've decided that I am going to start Truly Devious. Well, I've already started it. I'm going to continue on with this one tonight. Let me know if you have read this. Maybe by the time this video goes up, I'll have finished it. I don't know. It depends on how how quick it is to read um, and how good the mystery is. So let me know if you've read this. Um, like I said, I know that a sequel is already out or coming out. I don't know. Um, so yeah, I have heard some of my friends have DNF'd this book. And then I've heard good things about it from other people. So I don't know. You all let me know your opinion down below. But um, I'm going to get off here and have some dinner and probably read a little bit. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll be back soon with more book talk. Bye!